So, good evening ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mark, I'm from Belgium and what you are seeing here right now is the night sky of Sedona County. This is the Sedona County uh, from the real map of Sedona County that I took from um, the guy called Flambaliki and he took it from somebody else. I don't remember that name anymore, but I'm going to research it and mention it in one of my next videos. So, uh, what are we seeing in here? What, you know, I think I'm going to change it in um, in day and night. So, first of all, I need to go to options. And I need to change that so you can see. I think it's in gameplay. And then don't use the day and night circle. And that's it, I believe. So now we have the day circle. And well, you can see what um, what I have been building for the past three months, actually. Um, first of all, I started to build with Sedona City. Now, what is the difference? Of course, the difference with the real Sedona region is, of course, the brightness of that river. You know, the real... Uh, River Oak is actually a small creek and I know you cannot build a small creek in city skylines. It doesn't work like that. So I, I understand that the uh, original uh, creator from that map actually wanted to make this much more bigger. So what what did they do actually? So I am my specialization in, uh, in those kind of games is actually to rebuild real cities. And I also did this in Cities XL and Cities XXL. So, this is, um, well, how would I say by, um, um, 90, 5%, maybe 90% the same thing? No, no, it's not 95, 90%. It's less. I would say. I would pay, say about 70% of what you see is actually a kind of feeling from where I can, I want to come from um, to give it to the people who are seeing this. Um, for one example, um, the problem that I actually had with that map is actually that my LUT um, did go, you know, berserk and I couldn't repair it. So, in reality, that map is actually a very. I'm going to show this to you something like this, but a little bit more realistic. So, I ended up with a very green map. So yeah, you know, you have to do what you have to do. So what I started to build is actually the road layout. Now, American cities and American towns have particular road layouts. You know, you have the grid-like um, pattern, but you also have the tree pattern. This is the tree pattern. And in some other uh, towns, I have a, how would I say, a much more like bush pattern. This is a bush pattern. This is a tree pattern. These are two tree patterns actually, and this is one bush pattern. You can say this is, a, I call it a bush, bush pattern. I don't know if the real city uh, builders city plans or calling this the same thing but you can see 
these kind of patterns in the United States. I'm not from the United States, I'm from Belgium. We have um, our own uh, kind of um, patterns in our own towns. Um, later on I will come to this um, also. Uh, what you don't see a lot of times is roundabouts. So I, yeah, well, the, the roundabouts are coming up in the United States. You know, because in the real Sedona city, I actually saw a lot of roundabouts. So they are very new. And so what did they do? So my plan of the city, the real town Sedona is very, um, you know, common American town where you have the main street and no walkability and no bus structure, no, no, no nothing like that, nothing like a good BRT uh, structure or a, 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 a transportation hub, nothing like that. I mean, we need nothing like that. And. Um, to be honest, I was surprised that Phoenix, for one example, had a the same uh, large train station like my own hometown, which has only about 30,000 people. You know, the train station from my ho own hometown in Belgium has 30,000 people and has a um, has the same size as the um, train station in Phoenix, Arizona. And Phoenix has about 700,000 people. Now I do know that not every town, not every city is like that, and there are cities who have, they have Grand Central Station like LA or like um, New York, Washington for one example, or Chicago, you know, these uh, train stations, they do exist, and unfortunately the Chicago one, uh, or the Detroit one, I don't remember it anymore, was dismissed in 1988. And this is a beautiful, it's actually a very, a very beautiful building. They should have actually, you know, not do this, but they didn't. So, what I'm trying to say is actually, so, Sedona City is actually the capital town of the county. Um, what you see in here is the county court and the county hall. It's also the same uh, district hall and the city hall of Sedona City. And um, we have here a bunch of uh, offices doing here, some small offices. And of course around the um, offices we have some, some small shops in here like this um, what I planned out is actually to, to um, make sure that every citizen has a very short route to the shops so the shops are not really concentrated the shops are like in here this is a shop area and this is also a shop area, this is a shopping street, um, this is a shopping street, this is some area in here that has some shops, uh, this is the great uh, university hospital, we have a university, it's Donna County. So what you can see is actually um, the main boulevard and there is a main road going up to the west side of the town, from south to west, in a um, very um, interesting shape actually, I would say. This is some kind of a park, I also am very interested in a lot of greenery in cities. So um, walkability is to me very important, people do walk from here, a lot of people do walk. I have about 75 to 79 percent traffic flow now if you are at the end of your city and you are a new builder um, i'm also a new builder but i'm going to tell you i'm going to say this to you um, 
you always will have some traffic jams. I mean, that's inevitable. It's a city, you know. Cities do have traffic jams. So don't worry if you are you're just uh, driving your city in the, in the first man, um, the first person um, thing. I would say, um, don't worry. Uh, cities do have traffic jams. If you have uh, 78 percent, 79, 75, your city is very healthy. Don't do anything about it. Now, what is happening? What do you see in here? I have made a, a boulevard in here, and um, unfortunately, to my uh, surprise, nothing, nobody is using this. But a lot of people are using this. I don't know why, but somehow people are not intended to do, use this. In previous days, they wanted to use this and they use it very often. So pedestrian people, I would say. Um, so there's a lot of pedestrian traffic also to the river. You can see that. People do walk. They. Uh, go also with the bikes and I've put down here some trees, this is a cemetery um, Sedona city is a rather probably low density um, area residential area we have here some um, leisure um, and sports activities activity possible, this is the uh, indoor sports hall this is the uh, swimming pool, you have here the transportation hub of city, uh, Sedona City. Um, we have two major hospitals, Sedona City Hospital and the um, Community Hospital and the University Hospital. And, um, well, in the, why, you, you have probably are asking yourself the question, why this, what is this, all right? Before I had this, the road was just going straight, yes, and as you know, this would be a point of a lot of traffic. So what did I do? I thought about it, and I told myself, well, actually, a lot of people have to use this. So the traffic, so the... Um, the speed limits are just a little bit higher in here than they are in here. In here some people are using this too because of the traffic and if the people are you know, um, tired of traffic they are going to use that too. They are going to throw this too. But not much. So the um, utility traffic as I would call it like this is doing this. And the uh, commercial and how would I say um, uh, residential traffic is going like this. I also uh, like the idea of putting a lot of um, parkings at the side of the town center. So I am doing this, and this is actually a good solution for the whole traffic problem, actually. Within here, I have also a very small industrial area. Now, you probably all think, why does he have a lot of trees there? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to tell you. If you are all coming to survey, you will see that these trees actually they do very well. Some of them are not doing very well, but most of them they are doing very well. So with the eye catcher, of course this is not good, but if you see this in here, they are just doing very well. 
I know there's a lot of pollution. So this is a um, this is a small industrial area. I have here all the utility prop things like this. On the other side, I do have the, the water pumps and. So this is actually Sedona City. Now what can I tell about the next thing that I really built? Um, the next thing that I did build was actually this region. Yes. Uh, you can see the bridge and traffic comes through the bridge. Now I also had some small traffic problems small is if this is a small if you are in city sky that's a small traffic problem is a traffic problem that goes from here and ends up somewhere in here that's a small traffic problem um, I had the the roundabout already very early but as you can see I needed also a drive right um, system oh, I don't know how you call it but, uh, I call it like this I call it that so people do need to go to Sedona city and they are coming from here they don't necessarily need to go to the roundabout because the roundabout can't really take this amount of traffic now in reality a roundabout like that can take about maximum. This is a roundabout with one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six lanes. It take can take about sixty thousand. A two-lane roundabout, which is mostly used, can do about twenty-five thousand, and that's it. In reality. So what do we have to hear? Um, in, uh, in reality we also have on the uh, east bank of the River Oak some kind of a uh, resort. Now Sedona is very known for its resorts. It's a uh, touristical town. Uh, we have hotels in here. We have uh, tennis uh, courts. We have uh, athletics um, stadiums. We have a hotel in here. Uh, this is also a hotel. This is a second hotel. Um, this is all a resort area. Actually, nothing we need to talk about. Very small streets, actually, also because of the real time. It also has small streets. I put a park into it so people, people could walk through. Um, and very nice, actually, there are some living areas in here also. Mostly for tourists, but you know, um, we cannot change this in the skyline. So actually, I imagine myself that this is actually um, very cheap um, apartments that you can rent and things like that. When I am building a tree um, road layout like this, I'm always connecting this with pedestrian paths. And the reason why? People are going to use it. That's why. And traffic is manageable in here. I even do have a, a uh, connection with Mutz Park. This is the this is a other town, where we launched them. I don't think that something has happened here. So very odd. This is Bedford Park. Oh yeah, this is... I do have to do something. Um, I really thought to myself, this is actually... Hey, I read that this has been, you know, um, covered actually. I don't understand this. This area is not covered. Houses are not burned. This is a covered area. 
and in this covered area, owls are actually not used. Uh, owls, are, owls are actually, you know, burnt. Yeah, I don't understand sometimes the game, so... Well, to go further, we have... Um, this road alongside... Perfect. Now I'm going to show you something, because this is also for me interesting. We have a some kind of a fishing riviera in here. It's going to be quiet in here, so we... So we close to town and it's very very quiet. I a lot of uh, I spent a lot of time building it because it was very hard to build it because of the very special road that I have been building in here. But eventually I succeeded in this. Now I also do use almost entirely uh, only windmills. I am a green guy and I love it to use a green, um, green power. So this is actually what I have to tell them about this part of town. This is um, part of South Sedona where there is a bit of, you know, um, commercial zone. Uh, police uh, office. This is the district house of South Sedona. And well, there's nothing much to talk about. This is a leisure area actually. The Sycamore Square leisure area. We have totally different um, stores and, and, and shops and things like that. This is a little bit about, a, you know, I told you uh, previously about um, the um, traffic jams. This is a small traffic jam in, uh, in this area. Always is there. There will always be some traffic jam in here. But as you can see, I have about a traffic jam of 78% in. It's a really high school. And I have a bridge in here. And this is the Harbour area. Now, Sedona City is a very small city. And it's an indoor harbour. Now, I was new in the game and of course I didn't realize that it would bring a lot of ton of traffic, not a lot of, but a ton of traffic. And as you can see, I had also a lot of traffic. So the first thing that I thought about is to make this kind of a loop, you know, to make sure that traffic can flow somewhere. In the beginning it did work a little bit, but you know, later on it didn't, didn't work this much. So I added this road into it in here and later on I did also something like this the right turn road and I make it made, made a channel now as you can see um, in my uh, let's view videos of let's drive um, you also can see that You 
you also can see that um, some tunnels are shit. You know, they're not tunnels, they're just, you know, open air. And some type of tunnels are tight. Now, the tunnels that are tight, it has, in my opinion, something to do with the road type. Yes. Some road types, for one example, from the highways, except from the uh, on and off ramps, every highway has a very good tunnel. Yes. And from the uh, small heavy roads, I can tell you this, that the four lane heavy road also has a very good tunnel. And I believe the most of the tunnels, other roads, they have also good tunnels. And of course the train tunnels, they are also shit. There's a small traffic jam. This is not nothing to worry about. This will be normal, actually. It repairs itself. So yeah, I did also put some um, some decorations on it naturally natural decorations. This is all the, uh, an old cemetery, this is an old factory, um, also Here you can see, um, I think that I need to put a fire department into it because I have a fire department. Why is this, this guy not doing his job? What the fuck is wrong with that? say I have a little bit of a cable spaghetti, but I'm going to, I'm going to tell you something about this. Um, yes, it's true, I do have a cable spaghetti in here, but the thing is that is that um, once you are actually starting with something and I it doesn't matter what um, first of all beauty is not important but functionality is important I have about 75 to 80 percent traffic flow yes because of my system and I know it doesn't look nice, but you know, I'm going to learn it. Give it some time. So this is uh, the biggest, actually, to me, the biggest uh, industrial zone in Sedona County, in the Southwest Sedona Industries. And um, I have a solar power plant here, so I like green energy. You know, we need green energy, actually. This is not something that I can, I, I'm going to say, we li I like it. No, we need it. And to all Trump fans, well, this is going to be the future, whether you want it or not. 
so this was my first um, junction actually this is the Sedona city junction this is the West Sedona junction and um, I think that I did a, a bit better job in here where I um, actually organized a highway in the middle of town to make sure that the um, outgoing traffic is not going to interfere with the local traffic. I have two boulevards on each side of the, the highway with connections to the highway, of course. And you can see in here that I did really put some attention to my road layout from this moment on, especially at, as it goes about uh, highways and interstates. So you can see that this is the main strip of um, West Sedona. We have a few um, apartments, we have a few um, uh, commercial zones in here. Parking garage. What's very new in here? This is a hotel uh, um, zone. This is a hotel. We have some parking places in here. Now, comparing this to West to Sedona City, Sedona West Sedona has actually about it was my first town above ten thousand population. So, um, and to be honest, West Sedona doesn't have much of parking spots and parking lanes, but it has a big parking garage in here. But people do often use the, um, the already used known uh, parkings inside um, the um, commercial buildings and in the residential zones it's very normal to park a car on the streets so this is also something of my own creation this is a very special roundabout you can see that and it works I made tunnels in here because in the beginning the um, the originator the the, the original um, um, map maker he had a um, on the highway he had a um, railroad crossing. Now, with that amount of traffic, you cannot have a railroad crossing on the highway. At least not on the interstate. So I had a lot of problems when I when I started when I built this. I think I already had built Flagstaff. Flagstaff is a city uh, much more on this side. I had a ton of traffic in here, so I had a lot of work to do and to reshape everything what I had to build to make sure that the. Uh, the outgoing traffic was going actually right up, like this, in this direction, or in like this, or they would use this. I think that to have a good traffic flow, you need to have um, um, choices. People do need to have choices. And I think I. I really did it with, the, with this. And of course I have a tunnel in here and it comes out and then it goes like this. There is also some traffic in here but that's very normal because we have here a cargo station and around cargo station you always have a lot of tra traffic. Uh, 
Um, this is the highway in the state 40, I believe. Yeah, this US in the state 40. I also ne renamed a lot of names, a lot of street names. This is a town, um, I call it, I'm going to control the, um, it is the, um, there's something wrong with, oh, So you can see this is a small lake and uh, I put down, no this doesn't fit in here but I know that. But also something is wrong with my um, capability of pinning the, the, uh, the buildings. I cannot um, make an X on it. I hope this will disappear with my next game. So this is a small town actually. This is part of uh, West Sedona. It has not really a name. Maybe I should call it, you know, um, Dale Park. Yeah, I'm going to call it Dale Park. But it's part of, but it's part of West Sedona. And this is a very interesting town. This is actually what I call a bush, a bush structure. Uh, a bush structure has a very round structure. It has parts of a grid, but not everything. So this is how small town America is actually looking like. I have a very large park zone in here where people can, you know, chill out. Uh, this is, there's a football stadium in here. There is a uh, baseball pitch. There is um, a large commercial zone in here with small offices and small companies in here. There's pretty much traffic on this, but the traffic is very bearable on this road. So, um, because I also put some bus and uh, taxi lane roads on this, you can see that from here. And, um, yeah, you know, um, this is a very um, successful town, I would say. There is also a small industry zone because these people needed work, needed work close by. And, you know, why should you go very far away if you can work close to home? This is Cypress District. Cypress District is actually district full of um, um, agricultural housings, agricultural uh, businesses. Yeah, I don't know if I do have a... Yeah, I do have one in here. I 
very good. Also, this junction is mine. This is a little bit of cable packet, but it's a little bit better looking like the other one. Yes, there is some kind of a traffic jam. As I said, cities do have traffic. Don't worry about it. You cannot solve every tra traffic jam base. It's plain and simple and possible. Uh, as I said, to have a good traffic flow, you need parking uh, lots, you need um, good uh, BRT, um, a good BRT structure, you need a good uh, uh, public transportation hub, and things like that on the right place, strategically placed, things like that. Um, this is how you can avoid traffic. This is a very this is actually downtown Flagstaff. Now, how does look, Flagstaff look in reality? Flagstaff has a lot of apartments. But in reality, also in, in this game, but in reality also, the apartment regions, they are not all in the, um, how would they say, downtown area reason why well, Flagstaff is actually a, a university city in real time also this is the university area where I have um, all of these nice and fancy things And um, it's a really, very erratically built city, and actually, in my opinion, a little bit un-American built. Um, you have low density residential zones mixed up with high density residential zones, and um, um, commercial zones between it. As, as you see, you have the um, um, high density um, downtown area, then you have a low density area in here, and then the um, university hospital clinic zone, a lot of um, hospitals in here, it's much more like a, um, how would I say, a um, Do you call it science, scientific um, science labs, and things like that? Companies that are actually doing something with, with, uh, with Medicare. Um, this in here is a large school. No, it's Maxis. It's, it's, it's this Maxis Central Mall, Wallace Central. Mall. So these are malls actually. And right in here, what you have in here, this is magnificent. Look at this. You have in here, I'm going to show this much more up close, up close because this is very nice up close. This is a parking lot that's what we call in, in, in Europe um, park and ride zones. And within the vicinity, you have a, a um, bus stop or something like that. And people can go walk or they can use the bus in the city. Up close is much more nice, as you see, it's much more in detail. And these parking lots are also very good to use, and as you can see, people are using the pedestrian paths between the dead end streets. You always have to do this. I think something went wrong with that one. Yeah, something went wrong with this one. I'm going to repair this. This is actually not working. Yeah, um, now people are going to use this. Yeah, sometimes I do really forget things. I'm a human being and people, humans, human beings do forget things. And this is a very awesome area. If you're going to drive through this in my let's drives, you will see this. 
this is a very awesome city uh, region to actually um, drive to because of the architecture and you know I mean in a lot of games the um, the game um, intelligence I would say um, not game intelligence the AI is rubbish in city skylines if you manage your roads very carefully then it might be something interesting this is the Yokado um, shopping it's actually a uh, what we call a hyper hypermarket We have a church in here, we have a lot of churches also in, 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 uh, in Sedona city. And this is a dead end for the railroad. I was planning something to do something with this area in here, but you know, I was tired of the game. And I was really tired, so I didn't do anything more. And actually the cities and the towns run, run out actually in, in the area of the real Sedona. Um, so what I can tell you further, we, oh yes, we have in here also a industrial zone, it's Greece in it, this is South Flags, South Flags of Industrial Zone, this is Central Flags of Industrial Zone, this is actually the Pine District, but I called it the Pine District because of a small amount of buildings that I wanted to put in here, and you know, sometimes you have to do these things because they cannot be built in normal zones. There is a bit of um, apartments for students in here, and you also have this in here. You can see that. And this is a very nice, in my opinion, very nice um, park actually people want to use this they're using this yes once in a while a taxi cab is using this I think that not a lot of cars are using this because I actually um, disconnected almost everything um, with this to make sure that there was not going to be any um, heavy traffic to it and I think that I did succeed in it. And maybe I'm going to use this as a as a example of how to build parks etc to make sure that um, also utility vehicles can go through it because mostly if you are building a park you know you know utility vehicles cannot walk go on the pedestrian paths and things like that. So you have to worry about this. Um, this is a small zone of uh, sports, uh, utility, uh, leisure, things like that. Um, the next project that I have was building on... Oh, my mistake. Was... is actually the South Flagstaff um, Junction. I would call it the South Flagstaff Junction. Um, it does work, so let's say um, it is a little bit better shaped. I have learned from my previous mistakes a little bit, but you know, I still have to work, work about the style. You know, it's not it's it, it's not stylish enough. It's not nice enough. But, you know, in the beginning, it has to work, and if it is beautiful, so be it. If it's not beautiful. Well, you know, sorry. Now, I'm going to tell you something about uh, this in reality. In reality, Flagstaff does has a very small regional airport, just like most towns do have. Yes. This is the international airport of Flagstaff, and this is the airport business district. 
nothing much to tell about this. And on the other side we have a, a leisure and tourism attraction zone, camping and things like that. It's all happening. Now, as I said, if you're going to rebuild a real city, you probably will never rebuild it just like it is. It doesn't work like that. But you can give the feeling, as I just as I, as I said, I give the feeling of Flagstaff, uh, being in Flagstaff, I give the feeling of being in Sedona City, I give the feeling of being uh, in Kahina Village, in a village is a small town, very small town. It's a very green town. It has dirt roads, um, only dirt roads. Mountain there on the other side also has dirt roads. And there is a, a small farming community in here too. So what I'm trying to say is that we uh, really need to have a... I do have a fire department. So what I'm trying to do is, I, give, I want to give the feeling of it. No, I do know that you cannot re recreate everything. You know, that's simply impossible. These people are not using it everything. They're mostly using these... Um, Parking lots that don't go with the with the stores. I'm fine with this, but I'm going to delete that one also. So I'm going to do something right now. Um, I am going to make a parking restriction also on that road to make sure everybody uses this road there, this parking lot there. It's a very unpopular parking parking lot, I would say. Now, um, yeah, so this is the feeling of Kahina village, and I think that, uh, that I really, um, I think, for my own opinion, I succeeded in my work as a city builder to recreate the feeling of that village. Winslow, right now. Winslow is a one-sided town on one side of the highway. You can see this. And Winslow, Winslow has two main streets, two uh, commercial strips. One is in here. This is the first commercial strip. And the second one is actually in here, this road. That's a specialization of, of what I um, did in uh, As I said, I learned about my junctions. I believe that I made some kind of a success of this. This looks much more nicer than the other ones. And uh, this is Windsor City, Windsor Town, what, 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 what. Nothing much to tell you about this, as I said. Um, oh yes, um, I have here also a golf course in here. Now, what is special about the Hina Village? Um, I'm going to tell you what is special about Oh yeah, I've, I forgot something to tell you. Um, I have a very successful pedestrian bridge going from this resort area to Flagstaff. And it's a very long bridge. And still people are using this, so I'm very proud of this project. People are still using this. Look at, look at this, how long the pedestrian bridge is actually. It's about miles long, and people are still using it. So if people are interested enough in things, they might use it. Uh, this is Kahina Village Station. 
This is Kahina. This is the Kahina um, golf course. This is Mots Park. Mots Park is the second largest town in the county. This is actually the um, commercial zone of Mots Park. In reality, also on the other side of the highway. And as you see, this is a particular tree, um, and this is a particular tree layout, you know, a bush layout, I would say, a bush a tree layout. So we come in America also. And yeah, look at this. Because, and this is the special thing about it, because the town. Um, commercial district was too far away, I produced another commercial district in here. And I'm going to try to find out people are using this. People are using these pedestrian paths. Look at this. So you need pedestrian paths to lower your uh, traffic flow. Make your traffic flow better. It's very good to use. And look at look how far away actually. Because this is one of this was one of the last uh, towns that I built, and how close it is actually to Sedona City, because people can walk. People could actually walk from Mutz Park to Sedona City. It's perfectly possible. And we also have here a very uh, bit smaller um, uh, golf course park in here. And this is Red Rock. Red Rock is an interesting town actually. And a very difficult to build one. It took very long. You can see the um, usual commercial strip, and then the um, the tree layout, tree uh, structures, uh, streets actually in here. You can see that. And that's actually it. What I, what I what wanted to talk about, you know, that's actually there's nothing much more to talk about. Um, yeah, we have, we have Williams. We have Williams. We forgot Williams. Of course, we forgot Williams. Williams. I, I no, no, no. We didn't forget Williams. We were speaking about it. We we talked about it. We talked about Williams. Oh yeah, I made this highway. I also made this highway. And as you see, I learned. I could make my town bigger, but you know, it was I, I went out of um, out of towns. So yeah, um, I think that I'm very proud of my project actually. Um, yeah, I'm very proud of it. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. So long until see you until next time.